comes to Kentucky after reclassifying to the 2018 class. He is also one of two players on the roster that Kentucky got out of the state of Georgia. In fact, at one time, Higgins was a commit to Georgia. Talk about Georgia and just uh, like, you know, growing up there, what it was like, so close to going and being a Bulldog, and then all of a sudden things change around and you come here. I mean, really, it was just, it was amazing, like, the feeling like the fan base is sort of kind of like Kentucky, but it's really not. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, if I go somewhere, I, especially when I was committed, uh, let me get a picture, this and that. Uh, if I was like, just even like back in Covington when I was at home, uh, Oh, you're committed to Georgia because everybody out there, <laughs> Athens, like, they from Athens or, like, Monroe area, so they, like, oh, they're Bulldogs fans, so let me just get a picture real quick. <laughs> but it was, like, it was a great feeling while I was, like, committed and stuff like that, but now that I'm at this place, it's just a different stuff in my life. What, what was it made you just, I mean, was it the coaching change? That yeah. was it? That's, that's it. Uh, I mean, uh, my cousin played at UGA back, mm -hmm. you know, Trey Tompkins. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so I was up there like all the time. So me and Fox had built a relationship, and yeah. from there it was just it was just sad. So you're taking grief now? Anybody giving you a hard time about Not being enough. here? None. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, yeah. I'm sure you you've heard about the atmosphere around here before you even get to the floor. Now that you're actually in it, what's it been like since you got here? It's been crazy. I mean, an eye opener. Um, I I have never seen nothing like this. Fan base is real crazy. Even when they just won the football game, uh, flipping cars, I was, it was just, I was shocked. Like, just imagine when basketball season come around and we win the big game. That's just always going through my head at night. Like, this is crazy. If, have the older guys told you what the older guys are around here? Have they told you what like you can't expect when the season starts? Of course, of course. Um, we talk about it a lot actually, because you know all the freshmen. We like just trying to see like how everything gonna be going. You know, they'll tell us, especially like uh, you know we got big blue in a couple couple weeks. So they like that's when it really get crazy. You know, fans get here like two weeks before start camping out. So they just keep us up to date with everything. And, what are you most looking forward to? Um, uh, really, what I'm looking forward to is just building a relationship with my teammates, getting better day by day, uh, staying in the lab, working, um, really just getting, making sure my teammates are doing good, on and off the court in the classroom. That's really it. You, I'm sure you, you play with great AAU teams, but you probably haven't played with this much talent on your team until you got here. What, what's that whole thing? And is there an adjustment playing with, with guys who are as good as your team? Um, I haven't played with this type of talent, but also I haven't played with a, a great big like that we have on this team, like Nick, PJ, Reed, EJ. That's just like. Like, man, <laughs> four of them, four beasts, like, who gonna stop that? Like, I'm just ready for the season to start so we can see how everything gonna click and roll. How much easier does it make your job when you have bigs and they're gonna, you're getting a lot of open shots when you have so many bigs? Uh, with, with the bigs being good and the guards that we have with Quade and Emmanuel and, you know, Tyler and Kelder, they can shoot. So it's really, it just made my job more like easy. I don't have to score as much, but when I have the chance to score, I will. But just like put me in my right game, I can facilitate, get my teammates involved, feed the bigs, let them go to work off the post and the mid-range shot that if they take that. So really, it just made my game better. How were those games on the Alice? How much fun was it? How much fun did you guys? How much money did you guys get to do there? Oh, we was loving it. I mean, we was at practice. We was taking each other's heads off. We was going at it. So it was like, it was real crazy. Everybody was like, we almost was fighting. It was crazy. Cal was just like, his eyes was just like, dang, these guys ready to fight. So when we got down there, we was just, we was just anxious. Like everybody was waiting on game day. So before, before the games, we was in each other's rooms talking, like what we could do better, things like that. But when the game started, you know, we started off a little slow, but when we got it rolling, you know, everybody was happy for each other. You seen the bench going crazy when Keldon was doing his thing, when everybody was just, it was amazing.
was it an eye opener when Coach pointed you out that one game and said, "Yeah, you had three points, but you know they were big, and it was big what you did on the court." Like, Say that again. When you had three points in one of the games in the Bahamas, and right. he kind of pointed you out and said, "Told the team, yeah, but right. you played big part of this." Yes, you sir. know, is that kind of an eye opener in how this whole thing works? Right. I mean, uh, like Kyle tell me all the time, just uh, play my role and, and things that fall into place. So that's really what I'm here to do. Just play my role. You know, I'm, I'm like I three class, so I'm just I'm just trying to play my role. I do anything for my teammates, my brothers. So I'm just here to play for them. You know EJ probably better than anybody else, right? Right. Right. So tell us something about him. Something. Uh, really, EJ. We've been trying to play with each other. High school, AAU, it never like came together. Uh, but now, like we had a discussion before he committed and things like that, and we was knowing that I was like trying to get everything finished, trying to reclass. So we was just talking, and then once he made that decision, I was like, this could be the this <laughs> the chance that I get. So I always wanted to play with somebody that can pop, open up when you, off the pop, and just shoot that guy. So. That's what EJ is, and that's who I wanted to play with. So, we one of the reasons why I came. How many times has Cal told you that Anthony Davis took the fewest shots on that national championship team? How many times have you heard that? Oh, he talks about it a lot. <laughs> he, I mean, just like he did, he played his role. He played for his brothers, and that's what, that's how he got where he is now. <laughs>